Hey there, so today we have another review, and this is a weird one. This is Grimm in collaboration with Han Blakelite. This is Trilatine? Trilatine. Trilatine. Uh, this is a DDH, uh, double IP, uh, DDH Nordic double IPA brew with spruce tips and then Quebec yeast. So if you want to skip the review, please skip ahead. Uh, what is Quebec yeast? So uh, Quebec yeast is, Quebec is not a style, but it is a yeast. And it is uh, from a Nordic farmhouse brewing. And it's really interesting. If you want to check out uh, Craft and Brewing uh, Magazine's uh, article about this, you can check it out. But pretty much, uh, this is a strain of yeast that has existed for quite a while. And origin-wise, I believe it is some part of what we imagine the family of uh, yeast strains being, you know, British, American, Belgian uh, origin. And then also some other uh, genome uh, came in. And what is interesting about this yeast? Well, uh, interesting about, thing about this yeast is that it is constantly reused uh, by the Nordic farmhouse brewers. And they dry it out and they use it for uh, just endless amounts of generations. And the really crazy thing about it is that it ferments at super insane high temperatures. So with that, you're going to have faster uh, turnover in your beer. Uh, generally, ale yeast will uh, ferment at around maybe uh, 65 degrees, 68 degrees, something like that. Uh, with some of your Saison yeast strains, you might um, have them pull a little higher, 70, 80 degrees. These Quebec yeast strains will rip apart a beer uh, at 80 to 100 degrees Fahrenheit. So unbelievable temperatures that brewers are blown away at how a uh, yeast can uh, work at such high temperatures. And with those higher temperatures, you are going to have a uh, more you know unique uh, flavor profile that is unique to Quebec yeast, but also you're going to get uh, much faster fermentations. So imagine uh, the evolution of American craft beer, where we can actually ferment beer much faster than we are turning over beer now. What a interesting kind of uh, feat. But uh, also with um, these uh, Quebec yeast beers that the Nordic farmhouse breweries are making, uh, they aren't using hops. Uh, they're using spruce tips uh, for not only flavor profile, but uh, possibly for antibacterial reasons, the same way that we use hops. So really interesting. I'm very curious about the one. So uh, the beer is very, very full on hazy, fluffy white head. Comes in a light gold color. Let's get the room on this one. It has that kind of traditional, kind of like super dumb, hazy kind of nose to it. And it has sort of a little bit of that is going on. A little bit of that kind of like, you know, um, hoppy kind of noise that you get in some of these intensely hoppy beers. It is um, pineapple-y. The green character is actually so overridden by the amount of hops that like the spruce is decently hidden. But you get a little bit of that kind of spruce pininess. Yeah. But it's like just straight, sweet, mango-y, pineapple-y, kind of just like familiar kind of hop notes, whatever. Oh, that is weird. So this can, less than a month ago, up front, uh, tons of that kind of spruce character. Um, you don't smell it in the nose, but it is forced in your freaking mouth. It is very sprucey. Mm -hmm. And it's covered up with this kind of like neutered kind of like whatever generic kind of like hazy beer um how flavors don't really pop it has a decent creamy mouthfeel to it a little bit of that chalkiness on the back end spruce drives your days if anything uh this beer would be super like unimpressive it, or not super unimpressive or just generally unimpressive as a new england style ipa without that spruce influence to it the spruce influence gives us this beautiful kind of like oily i don't know it's spruce tips it, it, it it's like forest it's piney it's like cologne it's like it's it's it, it, it's 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 straight pine it, it's very green and it's you know it plays into that kind of green hop character that this beer has but it is straight forest it is very herbal and it's minty yes yeah, minty it's like you know somewhere in between cologne toothpaste and just the forest in your mouth So wait more, there's maybe a little bit orange in there, but generally the hot fl flavor profile is a bit neutered and it has a general kind of just like hoppy New England kind of thing going on. If not for the spruced um, tips, it, this would be a very exciting beer. I'm going to give it credit for having that kind of flavor profile. And if anything, if you make a generally boring kind of uninspired New England style IPA, then maybe um, having spruced tips would uh, really help. And actually, maybe I should have aged this can further because I hear sometimes that the Quebec yeast uh, takes a little bit of time to like age into the flavor profile. But um, there's nothing really yeasty about it.
I would have a hard time telling you that there's a different yeast strain on this one to really accentuate different kind of flavor profiles. Um, it's a decent to good New England IPA, and then I like this Bruce Tips. So uh, giving this Bruce Tips a lot of credit. Uh, this one for me is getting a... I sweat more, it gets a little bit more fruity, creamy, uh, smoothie-like with those like orange and pineapple uh, notes into it. Uh, this beer for me is getting a 91. This is uh, Trilatine from Grimmenheim Bachit uh, with Quebecis. I can't wait to have more beers with uh, Quebecis. Let me know with your experiences on that. That's a nice game, guys. Cheers. Later.